Hi, this is Dr. William King from Greater Life Training Center. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use SQL Server Express, uh, which is free download from Microsoft, to create a database table or to create a database and to create a table inside of that database and then also a script to insert uh, data into that table and we would do this with notepad and then transfer that information over to uh, SQL Server Express. Alright let's open notepad This is Notepad. Now, the first thing that we want to do, actually, how about we go ahead and create that in SQL Server? We wouldn't have to do this. Okay, so let's go SQL Server. All right, the first thing we want to do is create a table, a database, I'm sorry. So I have a series of databases here. We want to create one called Sample, and we want to do that in Master, which is our master database. Okay, and there's master that's selected. Here's a list of our databases. Okay, make sure it's in master. And let's use the keyword create. Create database. Now, let's give our database a name. Let's call it sample. And when we execute this, it will create our database for us. This commands executed successfully. If we refresh this, we will see our sample database is now created. There are no tables currently in this database. It's empty. If I look in these others, you will see there are tables. Okay. All right, let's create a table inside of our sample database. And to do that, we can either create a new window or we can use the current one. Let's use the current one, but there's a, a key thing that you should know. If you're going to make if you're going to do an execution, you have to highlight the code that you want to execute. All right, let's create our table. Create table. Now let's tell what we want to name the table. Let's name the table sample table. All right? Now, let's put some information in that table. Okay. First thing we want to do is create an ID. So let's call it ID. And let's make it an integer because this is going to automatically increment as we uh, enter data into our table. And to get it to increment, oops, we need to give it identity. One to one starting off with one and we don't ever want this to be uh, empty okay so let's set it to not null let's create a new line and let's set the next field to be let's say name we're going to put a person's name in there and let's make it a invar char a character and let's set it to oh, 75 characters at the max Okay, and if you want to, you can put in there uh, that it it can be a null value. But we're going to move on, and so you can see the simplicity simplicity of creating a table. We're not going to add all the additional code into our table, uh, so you can get an idea of how easy it is to create a table. Okay, so let's let's do a date. Okay, let's give it a value of date. Oops, of date time. Okay, and that should end it right there. So this is not null, and this ends here. We don't need a comma here. We don't need a comma here. Let's bring this up, and let's go ahead and execute this. We have to highlight it, otherwise you'll rerun the whole entire script, and 
the first thing that we need to do if you notice here is going to create it in our master we don't want it there we want it in our sample so let's find our sample scroll down there's our sample and let's execute it in our sample oh there's a problem at 75 guess what the problem is fat fingers okay now let's execute it remember you gotta highlight it execute it's completed successfully if I refresh this look under my table and there's our table now if I click that and look under our columns we should see our columns we just created okay and you see how it added null there automatically nulls are allowed okay let's put some data into it what we want to do is insert insert sometimes that look like into our and what database we want to insert it into our sample table that's the table we want to insert it into and what do we want to insert well let's insert something in our name and our date and the values that we want to put in there I'm going to show you a trick in a minute comma because we want one for our name and one for our date all right let's put John Doe and our date 3-16-2009 remember highlight should be under sample execute syntax near value did I mess up again I think I did and my error is here under name is looking at name as a keyword so let's do this just to be on the safe side I'm glad that error happened. And let's highlight this again. Execute. Ha 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 ha. Oh boy, I tell you, it's easy to overlook things. Execute. Okay, now we're looking good. So if I right click on this and I open the table up, we should see some data in there. There we are. And it's that simple to create a database and tables and insert values. I hope you enjoyed that. Go ahead and rate this and uh, subscribe to my videos.